Uh, hello. Um, today is June the 27th. This is a, a chat from uh, Team Plan B of the Google Lunar X Prize. Uh, just today, what we're going to do is just going to give you an update of what we're actually we're doing, and uh, as well as um, kind of have a semi workshop type, type type thing from our team lead. Um, after after I I quickly present on what we're 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 doing. So. We're at a point right now where we're uh, we need to uh, test out our rover uh, under the conditions of the moon, the gravity of the moon, and it's one six uh, in comparison to uh, to Earth. So uh, what we need to do is, um, as we're traversing, as we're using a rover, we need some pulley system that gives a little bit of a lift to our rover. So what we're thinking is uh, creating um, creating a drone. That will be responsible uh, for that for that pull. Uh, obviously, that drone will have sensors. Uh, anytime uh, you know contact is made and there's there's either slack or too much ten tension. Uh, at the same time, we will also on our drone we will also test our uh, uh, systems. Uh, we'll test our comm systems, our gyro platform that we built for our um, our main uh, main craft. Uh, so that way we will get to do this cool fun thing, um, achieve the, the pulling system, um, the release of, uh, the gravity release, uh, and uh, as well as test our systems, our, our peak. So uh, what we, uh, the, the, the architecture that we're using, it's, we're, we're all on, on using peaks. I remember I was in, um, I was traveling before and I met with the IT guy, uh, they're also building drones. Um, and doing a, a number of cool things, and I said, "Yeah, we are working with peaks." And he's like, "Oh man, that's that's old old architecture, right?" But I said to him, "There there are a number of reasons why we have. There's always a reason why you choose, you know, to go with a specific architecture, and and we, and we have our we have our reasons, uh, you know, uh, for that radiation safety and so on and so forth. Uh, but so basically, we have the uh, peak." 24J. Uh, um, we have two. This is we sh we should be complete our um, uh, software software piece for this um, by the end of this week. So really tomorrow, and next week we'll start on the build of the rover. We'll start 3D printing our parts and stuff. But uh, basically here we have our serial chip, um, and here we have our. Uh, our one peak. This is responsible for the. Here, I'm just going to pull this out. This is for the. Um, this is for the programmer. The peak at three. But here we have our our first. First chip, and this this guy is responsible for the sensor. Uh, we're just testing one. We'll have more. Uh, it's responsible for the sensor when that the drone has to do the pull or release. Um, as well as um, uh, four quad servo motors, right? We have our control here, um, and then this this guy here, it's uh, it's connected to flash, and then uh, this is, uh, second uh, peak here. This is responsible for the gyro platform. Uh, we have an accelerometer here, uh, magnetometer, and uh, our gyro, and this is uh, our in-house software on these guys. Um, it is the uh, gyro platform that we will be using for Minecraft, as well as our drone. Um, yes, yeah, so we have them programmed, um, and uh, next week we will uh, start. We will start. Uh, we have our SLA printer. We will start printing our pieces, um, and uh, hopefully we'll have some lift. Uh, and uh, after this, after what I say here, my our lead, our team lead. Uh, he's gonna do kind of a work workshop type type thing. He's gonna be speaking in Russian for any of the lower technical uh, pieces. Um, and yeah, from uh, Team Plan B of Lunar X Prize, uh, uh, tune in uh, in a week.